Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to return to Poland, so we're going to continue on with my Polish beer month that we started yesterday and we're going to do my first visit to probably one of the best known Polish craft breweries actually. You've probably heard of these guys actually, they seem to be quite international. But we're going to go to Brother Pinta and we're having a taste of their Grodzicki 4.0 today. Now the Grodzicki beer is the Polish name for the German Greatze style. So from this beer there's a little bit of smoky malt, there's some wheaty flavours, there's a bit of the kind of Belgian ghosty character in it as well, the sort of salty flavours. So it should be a really quite interesting one. I'm really looking forward to trying this beer and yeah, Pinta, as I said, produced some really awesome beers. I tried quite a few of their things in Warsaw when I was there, so hopefully I can review quite a few more of these in the fairly near future for you. But thank you to Carl, Matthias, and to Irena for bringing this beer for, for me from Poland. So they came to visit my whole Polish flatmate, so a big thank you to you guys for providing this beer, and I hope you enjoy the review. But anyway, as is usual with my reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward all the usual websites are in the description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my future reviews that I'll do from Pinta. This is the very first time I'm trying a Brover Pinta beer on the channel for you. And there's all the usual social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Untapped. So please follow me on there. If you want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel. And to those of you watching in Poland, I apologize in advance for any bad Polish pronunciations. I'm sure there will be a few in this video because your language, to be honest, is a little bit crazy for somebody who doesn't speak it naturally, but I hope you enjoy the review nonetheless, and please do let me know some other Polish beers that you would like me to try. But anyway, to tell you about Brover Pinta. So, Brover Pinta were founded in 2011 by Zyomivita Favata, uh, Grigorz Zivierczny, and Marek Semle, and apparently they wanted to innovate and diversify the Polish beer industry, and of course Poland, like many countries, had a point where it was really the big breweries that were dominating, you know, the likes of Lech, uh, Zwietz and Tyski and things like that as well but now there is a very thriving Polish craft beer scene and there are some pretty damn awesome beers down there take my word for that but they're a contract gypsy phantom brewery however you want to call them they don't own their own facility and rather they brew at other people's but they actually produced their first beer for the Good Beer Festival in Wroclaw in May 2011 and this was an older version of this beer the Grodzicki they've had a few different versions of this one the, the original Grodzicki the 2.0 the 3.0 and now this is the main one. But they had brewed this beer the previous year in Grotska Pritesnia, or gracefully Grot, uh, Grotska 15 brewery in Lublin, and the success of this beer inspired them to actually go on and found their own company, and they are doing very, very well these days. But the main brewer of the company is Zima Vita, and uh, the company now actually brew at a number of different breweries, including Brovarza no Jurtse in Zawiercze in uh, Slaskia, which is Schlonsk, I believe is the German name for that region. Most people, I think, would know it by the German name. And there's also Brovar Zajetse, which is near Ritschow in southeastern Poland. Again, apologies for the pronunciation, but Marek Semla is actually the main artist for the brewery, and he collaborated with Tigrin Vardikian, who was an Armenian artist, and I think he designed a lot of the labels that you see on the beers these days. But they collaborated until 2012, and a lot of the newer designs are produced by the MH Art Studio in Krakow. But these guys are a very, very prolific brewery. They produce a lot of cask-only beers. If you go to some of the, the bars in uh, in Poland, like uh, in, in Warsaw, it was, what was it? You had uh, Piv Piv, I think was the one. They had some really nice Piv, uh, Brova Pinta beers, but these guys are very prolific, and on their website, if you go and check that out, there's over 30 different bottled beers that you can try from these guys, so hopefully this is the first of many Brova Pinta beer reviews that I'm going to do for you on the channel. As I say, if you want to learn more about this brewery, go and check out the brewery website in the description below. So, let's actually get on to the tasting of this beer itself. So this one is a 2.6% Grodzicki or Great Sabir as the German style would be called. It contains Lubelski hops and smoked malt. The style is supposed to be somewhat wheaty as well and smoky as I mentioned. There's a little bit of a kind of salty, gosey character to this one and this one is produced at Brovar Zajetse. And again, sorry if that pronunciation is not quite right. But yeah, I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork on this one before we open up. So as you can see, it's got this nice kind of modern style artwork on it. You can see on the back there, there is a little bit of Polish on there. And I'm not even going to try to read that, but that just tells you about the hops and things that are in this beer. And you can also see the uh, the Brother Pinta logo on the top of the bottle cap there. And of course, that is the guy with his nice brewing kettle there. It looks a very nice beer from the outside, but let's get stuck into this one. So it's a Grazer, I believe, with seven 
0.8 gravity so it should be very nice 2.6 percent alcohol it is actually a very light beer so let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting then yes so as you can see nice little bit of a smoky opening there this beer is going to be cloudy you can tell that just from looking at the bottle it actually looks very much like a ghost beer belgian ghost style beer sugar it up and get a little bit more of a head on it But yeah, it looks really quite nice actually. So as you can see, this beer has poured a very kind of pale, basically a straw yellow colour actually. Looks very nice. There's a solid finger, or just under a finger, of a frothy white head on this one. There's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there. It looks very nice. You can see there is a degree of transparency to the colour of this one, but it is rather opaque. But Overall, it looks a very nice beer. So let's check out the aroma of this one. Now that is a really quite interesting aroma. It's really weird, actually, to have a beer that is this colour and then it smells smoky. To have a beer that's this yellow, usually smoked beers are a lot darker than this. But you've got the typical kind of smoky malts in this one. I don't know if it's Bamberg Rauf malts that they've used in this or if you do get exclusively Polish smoked malts. But it smells very nice. It's got that typical kind of uh, sausagey malt to it. But it's interesting because it's very bready as well. You've got the wheaty character coming out. And that's without even sugaring it up. So if we sugar it up a little bit more, we should get a few more interesting aromas coming out of this beer. You know what? This beer really actually reminds me as if you have sausages and bacon and eggs and things like that. It really actually smells a bit like a fry-up, like a Scottish fry-up. That's what's really interesting about the aroma of this one. <laughs> so pay attention, it really does have a kind of smoky sausage and baked beans aroma to it. That's what's really quite funny about this one. But you can smell a little bit, when you sugar it up, you start to get more of these Lubelski hops coming out. They actually, from what I can gather, they smell very similar to the German Noble hops. There's a little tiny bit of earthy character, but they're quite grassy and quite floral as well. It smells really nice. There's a very nice malty aroma from this one. So if you're into your malt forward beers, you will really like the aroma of this. As I say, it really reminds me of sausages and beans. Ah, yeah. Very nice, but nice meaty, kind of sausagey, smoky character. A bit of wheat in there. You can smell some of the saltiness from the ghost side of the, of the beer too. But overall, this is a really interesting aroma. That's one of the more unusual ones that I've come across recently. The most unusual one, of course, was that coffee barley wine that I had from uh, from McKellar that actually smelled like recycled, smelled like recycled food products or something like that. But this one smells a lot nicer than that did. But yeah, this is a really unusual aroma. Just take a little bit of time before you actually get stuck into this beer. But we're going to try this now. So this is the Grodzicki 4.0 from Brother Pinta, one of the best known Polish craft breweries, in fact. So do go and give some of their beers a try. They've all got very high ratings. But let's get stuck into this beer, the Grodzicki from Brother Pinta. Nostrovia, Skoll, as we would say here in Sweden, and Slandia, as we would say in Scotland. Now that's really unusual. The smoky character for me is quite subtle. It's definitely there, but it's more of a subtle note. It's more of the wheat and kind of bready character that's coming to the fore on this one. This is really nice. This is a very light session beer. That's the first thing you're going to discover about this one. Very light and very sessionable, but very good. Yeah. That's a very nice beer, actually. You know, if you want something very light and very sessionable, this is an ideal summer beer, actually. I always find I love smoked beers. You know, I've told you that many times on the channel. The Bamberg Rauch beers was where my love of beer really began. But in terms of these beers, you can only usually drink one, maybe two at most of them. But this is actually really interesting because it gives you a, a kind of lighter alternative to these beers. I love the smoked beer flavour, and this one really is one... It is very nice and very sessionable. So for a summer smoked beer, this is ideal. It's great. Mm. But as I always say, sugar the beer around a little bit more in the mouth and just let your whole palate adjust. Because there's some really interesting flavours in this beer. Mm. Yeah. So the middle of your palate 
it's just blank because you've got this very very smooth bready character it's definitely like a wheaty bread there's no doubt about that there's not there's maybe just a teeny teeny tiny little bit of the kind of banana -y flavor so it's quite a yeasty bready character that you get from these beers you can feel that just in the middle of the tongue it has a little bit more body to it and on top of that there's a little bit of the almost um how do you say like the almost salty character that you expect of the ghost style beers you can just get a little bit of that so and you can feel it actually coming out more in the aftertaste you get a little bit of the salty character just coming out towards the back of the palate i think But yeah, there's some nice smoky malts just building on top of that. You can really get the, the noble hop kind of character. These Lubelski hops are very nice. They're very smooth, actually. So at the back corners of the palate, there's just a tiny little bit of earthiness. And as you come further forward, it smooths out. There's a little bit of floral character, but mainly it's a kind of smooth, floral, grassy flavour that you're getting out of this beer. This one blends together very well. It's a light sessionable beer. It's 2.6%. But it doesn't, you know, it doesn't need more alcohol. It's got a, a lot of flavour there. If you like your more malt forward beers, you will enjoy this one. I've reviewed a few goat's beer, uh, goat's beers, on the channel for you before, but never the Grozitski or the the Great style beer. But this makes me very curious. I do have another one in the cumber cupboard behind me from another Polish brew that I'll review a little bit down the line in this Polish beer month, but very interesting style as I say if you like bready beers and you like smoky beers and you want something for the summer this beer is absolutely great for that mm. in the middle of the palate too there's a little bit of a woody or kind of leathery flavour that just blends in with these kind of bready characteristics but as I say it's it's wheat bread that's in there just a little bit of banana some salty character too on top of that there's a little bit of smokiness and it just lingers there, it's like meaty smokiness definitely in this beer, nowhere near peaty and you can feel the smokiness just lingering and there's some sweetness on top of that but this is a very very nice beer, I mean you have to try this one, it's very unusual and definitely kind of Polish, quite a typical Polish style beer from what I gather. Mm. Just behind the front of the, the front curve of the tongue too where you get some of the fruity characteristics, there's a little bit of citrusy character in there, it's not quite lemony but it's just that typical slightly citric character that you get with some of the grassy and floral hops but overall this is a really quite nice beer in terms of the mouthfeel I definitely say with this one this is a light bodied beer the carbonation in it is quite crisp it is really quite smooth actually there is a little bit of oily character to it there's a good sweetness from the malts it becomes a little bit drier as you move into the aftertaste and that's when you get some of the more salty kind of a uh, ghosty character coming out of the beer which is quite nice and it gives you a little bit of a, a diverse mouthfeel to it but there's um overall at the start the beer is very very smooth and the hops are quite smooth as well i think but there's a little bit of bitterness there around the front of the palate from the the floral and aromatic elements of these lubelski hops but overall this is a really nice and quite drinkable beer this is a very good summer beer for you if you enjoy the likes of smoked beers and these kind of bready beers too so I have to admit, I really would recommend this beer to those of you who enjoy that style. It's very good and I have enjoyed this one. So a big thumbs up to Brover Pinta for this one. Hopefully this is the first of many reviews that I can do from these guys because the other Pinta beers that I tried in Warsaw were, you know, they were very, very good. So I really look forward to reviewing more of their stuff for you here on the channel. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. As always, let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer. Always interesting to hear from you guys that are watching the videos, especially those of you who are watching from Poland. Please do let me know your favourite Pinta beers and of course any other beers and breweries that you'd like me to have a look at. Always willing to try new things of course but thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share all the usual YouTube stuff. I'll catch you soon with my next Polish beer review. I'm not sure what one's coming tomorrow yet. I need to think about that but I hope you're enjoying the Polish beer month and until the next time slander just now and do let me know your favourite Polish beers and hopefully I shall catch you soon. Cheers and Go and check out Brova Pinta.